kind of like this walking in entrance thing. Man, feel like I'm doing a. You get me? 0800 Euro fam, what's good? What's popping? I am Cali Omari, and welcome to Cali Vision. I don't even know. That's ah, that might not be an official name, but Yo Fam was called was popping. It's all a part of the 0800 Yo Fam umbrella, and I'm back. First and foremost, I want to big up, yeah, the guys them, the man them, um, everyone I know that's got a YouTube channel up and popping. Big up Grinning Wolf Games. Big up Dave Basket. Big up Too Busy Gaming. You know what I'm saying? Man out here doing bits in these streets. And like, yeah, everyone's got a different approach to stuff and it's banging. So if you catch their channels or if you're into like gaming equipment, um, you've got man like Grinning Wolf Games. Um, if you've got, if you're interested in like watching streams and playing games and discussing it, whatever, whatever, Too Busy Gaming is the guy. And um, if you're interested in tech, like I'm talking about convenience, everyday tech, head over to Dave's Basket, like three cool guys. I know them really well and they're out here doing their thing and they've been doing their thing consistently for a very long time. You get me? So big up the guys them. Anywho, 0800 Yo Fam, what's good, what's popping? I am Cali Damari. Welcome to Cali Vision. And today, I know... You know, it's still birthday season, isn't it? A few days after my birthday, I ordered something the day before my birthday and it's finally arrived. If you know me and you know me well, you know that for years I've been a big fan of uh, Maharishi as a brand. Really love them. I like their ethos, their philosophy and the way they approach things. They make really interesting garments. Some of them are really out there. Um, I'm from the era of the asymmetrical uh, pumps that they used to do, like the tennis shoes, where the laces were kind of off-key. Um, jackets as well with the off-key stitching. Some of the t-shirts are interesting. They've got a lot of interesting pieces. Um, so, you know, at the moment, I mean, I've done a video where I showed you my daily essentials um, bag and stuff like that. And ultimately... I was I, I was on their sale because they had a sale and I bought this. So this is the Maharishi bag that I purchased. So basically it's called a monk's sling. One thing that concerned me is obviously they take a lot of their um, influences from like uh, camo. They've got a book that specifically details the history of of camo, I think it's Hardy Bleachman or something like that. But these are some of the military patches. I don't think they're military patches that have been used in war and stuff. I think they're like purely fictional. But I'm like I said, sometimes I'm wary about the things that I wear. Um, Maharishi do nods to like camouflage culture. You know what I'm saying? So. I don't know specifically how I'm going to fit this in shot. So the reason why I wanted to get this is that, yes, the Carhartt bag I've been using for my daily essentials is lovely and it's been fitting a lot of stuff in. However, I feel like when I saw this, when I was going through the cell, this was one of the things I saw plus a tote bag for like um, £50 that went down from 170 So this one, I think it went down from 170 to 70 pounds that's why i purchased it um it features a discrete compartment on the back of the bag i know you can't really see it because it's camouflage so that's the discrete compartment um on the front you've got a front button compartment that says mike false Ma mike false harishi i think it's a take on Maharishi and then you've got this button up compartment you know what I'm saying and I'll show you the swizzag in a moment so you've got a front compartment that can probably fit a phone a wallet or something like that and it's very secure like when you button it and then you've got the main compartment right here which has a button entry also and uh, as you can see, it's quite tough, quite sturdy to put together. So this is it. So on my day-to-day, -day, as I showed you before, 
if I'm commuting and stuff, let me put it on. So this is what it would, what it could or would look like. Let me just push the chair in. You get me little stand up things. Yeah, that's quite a lot, of, quite a lot of space. Let me move that that side. So this is what it, this is what it could look like. You know, it is, it is quite. I would say it is. It can zip up, or not zip up, but the strap can do up quite nice. So this is what it would look like. So I'll be rolling down the street like, yo, well go on fam, well go on, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if I've got something in my bag, just bosh. Um, so first, I've got a work t-shirt. So this would go in there. So I'll pop that in there. That would fit in there. Then, if I've got my iPad, that would be in there. Let's see, can it go? In? No, it's too big to fit in that compartment, but it would fit in here. See, so more nearer to there, so it's easy to reach when I want it. I don't know how the audio is going to be on here. So I've moved, I'm just moving the mic. Let me put it on this little lapel thing here. I'll just put the mic there. Uh, what else? So I got battery pack. Obviously, that's one of the essentials. I have got. I always use my phone. It's literally used for everything. A lot of the time, I can put that in the front compartment if I wanted to. So now, it's getting a bit heavy. So it should be all right. So I can put that in the compartment right here let me move that up a bit so it's at the front you get me obviously deodorant if i choose to i can put that in here alongside the moisturizer um you know i roll with a uh, edward vart the scream fold out bag for life from loki to be honest when i cop this it was either going to be this or um what's his name man japanese artist who does the waves i forgot his name with my headphones because these are a bit i'm still getting used to this case so they could go in the side compartment just so they're easy access you know what i'm saying Then what else we got? Obviously we've got the spare glasses wipe. That can go here. And if it was a day where I was bringing a notepad, uh, my trusty moleskin, to be honest, since I've got the iPad, I haven't really, I haven't really used it. And that's pretty much the bag, you get me? So on a day where, where I'm like, where I'm out and about to work and whatnot, I could just rock this. And depending on where this is positioned, I can put my hands in my pockets. Woo, woo, woo. You know? And that's it. But I like this because it was different. And on an average day, I don't always wear like sporty stuff. Like if I'm in house mode, you'll see me in a Lakers shorts. You know what I'm saying, and rare, 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 but with this, I can be out and about, catching train. If I need to listen to my headphones, they're there. If I was to get my, if I was to pop out with these, ultimately, because this is a bigger bag, because this is a bigger bag than my, um, than my, uh, the Carhartt one, I could effectively put these in here as well. So not only can I have my Beats Fit Pro in ears, now that is starting to feel a bit packed, but that's gravy. I'll probably roll with, probably roll with the deodorant because I'm not gonna be using something like deodorant like 24 seven. But the good thing is, with this bag, and I've already decided I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it. I've made 
I've made my decision that I am going to keep. What I've noticed is the fuller that the bag gets is the more rib that the patch is as well. So I've already decided that I'm going to keep it because, yeah, it's different, man. It's a different bag. Put my hand in my pocket like, do, 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 do. But yeah, I've already decided I'm going to keep it because, I mean, when I'm going to work, my sandwiches that I'm carrying to work aren't going to get squished. Um, it can take my work t-shirt, it can handle my work t-shirt in my bag. If I'm going out to work as well and I need to change, I can probably fit a pair of denim in here. It's not going to be heavy duty. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, it, it would be silly for me to try and fit um, any of my music equipment in here. You know what I'm saying? Like, a drum machine because this it's not gonna fit in there let's be real my MPC live is not gonna not gonna fit in there that's not what it's there for uh, so at the moment I've still got an iPad in there I have my portable charging bank let's see so obviously this is the sure SM58 mic so if I'm rolling with this and I'm on a mobile one that can slip in there if I'm going to I don't know if I'm out and about and I get some inspiration and then this also can fit in there this is the uh, bloody hell mate what is the so hard to get something out of the box so yeah I know I'm having a bit of a mare so if I'm going there if this I need to get a little pouch for this I feel that can fit in here as well so I've got my mics uh, the only thing I haven't got is my cables so if obviously the mic didn't come with a cable so if for instance this was in a pouch it could still fit in the bag comfortably all right i'm gonna stop busy in about but yeah that's the bag this is what it would look like so pal hopefully the audio quality is held out while i've been moving around i know i'm still getting used to this myself to be honest I'm still getting used to this myself but it's a nice little it's a nice little satin where's my wallet obviously my wallet can go in there I don't really carry around my wallet it's a really nice wallet as well so that can go in there you know what I'm saying everything's secure everything is by me and it's not one of those things where with the with other bags like the Carhartt bag right because it has the little clips on the back of it, someone could just clip, bang, off with your things. But with this, they can't. And obviously, I've got my spare little air tag. So where's that going to live? Likely in the secret compartment at the back or in this compartment here. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I'm living. That's how I'm doing it. Whew. So I know that was a bit that was a bit chaotic, but I think for such a different bag, I just went all out in it. And I'm not a man that I don't like chopping up footage. I don't like going in again and again. And dee, 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 dee. No, that's not me. But this, my friends, is the Carhartt. What's it? What is it called? I don't even know what it's called. Not Carhartt. So this, my friends, is the Maharishi 8189 Camo Monk Slink Bag. It's made of cotton swill and it's in mint tiger stripe. They've got a sick little bucket hat on the site. Um, might, have to, might have to match up the things then, you get me? But, yeah, that's me. I'm off ski. I am off ski. I think this might be the last kind of unboxing review that I do in a while. Because, yeah, I've, I've bought a lot of stuff. And I've had a lot of stuff bought for me. And yeah, it's time to get back to 
making beats, finishing stuff off and stuff like that. So, you know, it's a lifestyle thing, man. It's what I do. Now that sounded so corny, but it's true though. It is actually true. This is what I do. I just get interesting stuff and I create interesting stuff. But um, Rhythm and Pros is out now. You know, listen to it in the next couple of videos or you can find it um, on Spotify, whatever, whatever. And yeah, anyway. Oh, wait, yo, fam, what's good, what's popping? I'm Khalid Omari. Thank you for tuning in once again. Like, subscribe, share, you know. Let me know if you're, if you're, if you're feeling this. Are you feeling this sling bag? Are you not feeling it? To be honest, I don't care if you're not feeling this, but it'll be nice to get like your input or some opinions. And, you know, like I said, there's a 60% off sell at the moment on the Maharishi site. So get involved and see Wild Guan. I might get, I might go back in there, get the bucket hat, get a, a black tote bag, because I believe that, I, to be honest, I've got a lot of rucksacks and they all have different purposes. So, this serves the purpose of something nice. Nicer, I'd say, than the Carhartt thing. You know what I'm saying? Because that hip bag is sick. Don't ever get it twisted. But this serves a different purpose. So, when I'm wearing my big silhouette stuff and whatnot, and, you know, I'm carrying something, because I've got a few bits with me, but I don't really want to look too sporty, I'll draw for this, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, I've tried to dip out many times before, but now is the time that I'm going to dip out. Peace.